All righty, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to make peace with everything that's happened to me. Everybody in the world thinking I'm crazy and psycho and all that. It's a little rough, you know what I mean? Especially when I feel innocent for all this shit and things happen that led to me being stressed and upset and doctors don't take that into consideration. Nobody wants to give me the time of day. Nobody gives a shit or whatever. So it's stressful, it sucks, you know what I mean? So basically I got my epilepsy med, I ran out. Couldn't get new ones because Service Ontario not giving me my fucking ID or whatever. But it turned out to be a good thing because once I got off those meds, I was way fucking more athletic, thinking clearly, shit like that, just feeling way better. So I didn't want to go back on that shitty pill, right? But once I got off, my father was under the impression that I would go psycho without it. For whatever reason, he's not a doctor. I wasn't ever declared psycho by anybody. But my father was under the impression I was psycho for whatever reason. <clears throat> So basically, um, my ex couldn't understand anything that made sense, any type of common sense. My ex wasn't understanding, probably because she was seeing a guy, right? A guy shows up on my birthday, okay? He was following her, apparently. It's not a boyfriend, it's a stalker, but he's a friend, he's a stalker, he's homeless, he lives next door. The story kept changing, he's, he's good, he's bad, whatever. So basically, I did a lot of screaming at my ex, and for good reason. And um, basically, I got noise complaints, shit like this. I wanted to leave my ex because of this guy. But for whatever reason, my father didn't believe that this guy existed, right? I eventually go out and chase this guy away myself. My ex did a police report. Uh, she talked about this guy to a cop in front of my work. Shit like this. I had police reports because I, or fuck, while well, police came at my place there and security because I was screaming about this guy for good reason. This motherfucker was showing up at my place, listening near my windows and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's true. It's true. This motherfucker was a stalker and he was stalking her and listening to me whenever I would fucking scream. But for some reason, my father didn't believe me. He thought it was all in my head because I wasn't on my pill or whatever. And my pill is an epilepsy pill. It had nothing to do with that. So because I'm fucking stressed in real life, I got so much fucking stress going on. <clears throat> I'm at work. I'm not even talking about the stress. I'm offering good ideas. I offer good ideas at the job. The problem is my ideas, you know, they, cost, they would cost money or something. The government would have to put effort to do the right thing, you know what I mean? So they say that I was too stressed and they send me home. Those motherfuckers, the day before fifth school, they make me work Sunday at 8 o'clock. I had no time off for like four or five months. They make me work Saturday, Sunday till 8 o'clock. And then I get two days off, Monday, Tuesday. 
right? I'm still fucking okay. I'm still going to work. I'm trying to fucking uh, provide good idea. These motherfuckers say I'm too stressed. I'm too tired or whatever. No shit, you don't let me have a day off, you fuckers. And then I, I get fucking sent home, even though I've done nothing wrong, right? So I end up living at my dad's. I leave my ex because she's abusive, a fucking liar. She fucking punched me, right, to defend herself. And she fucking messaged everybody I know in real life. She messaged everybody online, tell them I'm crazy, I'm, I'm fucking this and that. I'm abusive. This bitch is the one fucking seeing other guys talking to dudes left and right. And she fucking assault me, that motherfucker, a bunch of times. Okay, I left because she swung a fucking cup at my face. That's the night I left. And usually when I would try to leave, she would restrain me and wouldn't let me go. You know? So I bust out my camera. Am I under arrest? Am I fucking under arrest? That's how I got out of there. But my father didn't believe me. He thought I was a ticking time bomb. Apparently my job, they hired a psychiatrist. They're telling my dad that I'm fucking violent. I'm about to explode. I'm going to freak. And then the, my father keeps calling the cops because he's fucking full of wrong information. I end up locked up in the fucking asylum <clears throat> for no reason. Because I told my job that I could get them investigated too, which is fucking true, I could. They spin this that it's a fucking uh, a threat. And because I say Scientology sucks online, they say I want to shoot Scientology. And then that's their excuse for falsely locking me up under a false thing that I would be violent and it was fake. It's all fucking fake. It's all bad circumstance against me. If anybody deserve justice, it's me, motherfuckers. Not fake government or doctors. Fuck these piece of shit. If anybody deserve justice, it's me, fuck.